Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. I hope that you can see me okay. I'm having to do redo the intro here because my camera, the ISO, was not on auto. So it was just a black screen the whole time while I talked in the truck. But anyways, today, 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 before I get uh, into explaining uh, the pond situation behind me, uh, by the way, we're already set up, ready to go. It's probably about 30 minutes until shooting light. Uh, we're early. We wanted to be here early to get it done. Big floater spread today. Huge. Um, long story short, first of all, I want to thank y'all. Uh, on behalf of Ducks, thank you guys from all four of us. Flair, I, Brad, Austin, thank you. Uh, we all want to thank you from Ducks uh, for all your continued support, especially over this, this last holiday season. Uh, your guys' support is what keeps me bringing you guys these videos. And uh, just from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. But this pond. Uh, Gerald and I have drooled over this pond our entire lives, probably before we even knew each other. Uh, we've wanted to hunt this. Everybody wants to hunt this. It's a very sought-after pond. Uh, the farmer pretty much told us yesterday, hey, I'm sick of getting called about it. I've gotten, he said he got like 20 calls just yesterday. So, long story short, Again, <laughs> uh, this is not a roost. This is uh, a pond where everything in this area jumps water. It, 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 whatever's the main roost, it jumps to there. It jumps to a, they just jump water before they go to feed. And that is what is going to happen today. We're gonna see a big volley of birds come down. We, don't, we might only get one go on them, but it's gonna be crazy. This is a five acre little pond uh, surrounded by 50, 70, 60 foot uh, timber. Uh, we got. We are using all of our new floaters, all of uh, my new uh, snow goose floaters. So I'm gonna stop jabbering. Uh, we're gonna get down there and get after it, y'all. I'm excited if you can't tell. Oh, it is on like Donkey Kong Day. Give me a good one. Yeah, I think so. What's uh, we're feeling good about it. Yeah. Lots of sun, good wind today. First time using the ice eater for the year, so that's exciting. And first time using our new snow goose floater. Yeah. Oh yeah. But here we go! Okay. Don't, oh, you, don't yeah. you dare do that with me in here, dude. You got kids. I got them kids. Yeah, going. I hope you all can see me going down this bank on the Argo, down to the water. It's real sketchy. Uh, check out the spread really quickly here. You loving it? So far beautiful birds are flying I gotta hurry up check this out we got full bodies on the bank full bodies in the water a little bit and like I said I bought a lot of new Canada and snow goose floaters this is the spread oh yeah baby yeah all right let's get in see if we can do some work you ready oh yeah are we ready oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, here we go here we go We got a special guest today. What have you been up to, What's man? Up, man, just building guns, you know. Building, building guns, guns. Building guns, shooting guns. No, oh, yeah. Building what? Uh, you got to show them what you're rocking today. We're rocking. We got the Salvo uh, 12 Ooh. suppressor on it. Suppress 12 gauge. Drop a comment right now if you want the next video for me to be using that suppressor. Let me know down below. If you guys want to see it, I'll do it. Oh my. <laughs> Come on, yeah, he's still in there. Don't shoot them floaters if you can help it. He is a juvie and he does not know what he's doing. Hold on a minute. I'll walk him out. There you go. Good shot. I don't have a dog to say back or Fred, so <laughs> he did. Like I said earlier, the boys got into him uh, while I was parking the Argo. Uh, I think we have. I don't know, maybe four snows, two specks on the ground. That's probably our fifth snow. Huh? Oh no. <laughs> oh god. There you go. 
He dead too. They're good shooting. You guys waited till they got above you. I missed every dang shot. Good shooting, boys. I'm gonna have to send the dog after the snow. There we go. Two more on the board. Where did he drop? Back in here. Well, sometimes that works out when you get caught out there. My shooting was not so good. Where's this bird? He fell up in the truck. Oh, you got him. You got him. You had an eye on him. Get him! Get him! <laughs> there you go. We got a honker down. Let's see her. No bands? No bands. Sure? That's yeah, okay. Is it? You better double check. There you go. No bands. <laughs> Well, we got a honker and a snow down. That was good shooting from you boys. I can't believe I missed all three shells. I don't know what's wrong with I me. I can't believe you came back with you standing out in the decoy. I know, awesome. standing out there like that. Just, you know, hold still, duck down, don't show your face, do a little cluck cluck and bang bang. All right, who brought these? Jason. Oh, all goodness. From Vegas. You know the way to my heart. Brought them all the way from Vegas. You know the drill, the old pretzels. Here, break the seal, buddy. <laughs> that is the second bag that I have got gifted to me from a client. That's the best. That's the best. Do what? I put it out, hey man, they're good. I can't get away from them. Oh, only if old Frederick was here. Old Frederick, he'd be sitting right here. Gerald, come back like Frederick so I can feed you. Well, there we go, two specks down. Um, they get, you know, at that, I don't know, 25 yard mark, just vertical over the decoys, and that's, that's kind of the best shot we had there. Well, uh, it's slowed down quite a bit. It's going on 9.30 here. Uh, a lot of birds start using this in the midday, so we're probably gonna wait it out. I don't know, what do you think? How long? Oh, they've been done feeding around 10 30 ish and then start trickling back to water so we'll see it's cold and cloudy today they might hang out a while yeah cold and cloudy today it was sunny yesterday and here we are back cloudy again with the front rolling in but i had to switch up the ammunition here i've been using the blue box two shot and i love them but we're doing a little higher shot so i threw in the old black cloud one shot three inch back to this thing do you, you like shooting it i do so, like it Seems how's it how's it aim uh, right now it seems like it's shooting a little bit high compared to what it normally does but i haven't actually that's a brutus dude i don't know if y'all can hear this thing but it's just all you hear is the bolt slap yeah and they say you can take out you know you can take this all the way down to six inches it's a little over 12 right now so oh. i might take out four next time and then get it about eight they say that's about the sweet spot for quiet and so it's not so long hanging out the end of the gun gotcha so as you can tell it's got sections on it and that's what he said he can reduce it from eight inches down to four inches got about six is the shortest shortest kit they have about six inches that is sweet we got ducks no mojo come on turn might like it oh out in the middle again why are they doing that they just like to go sit on their own in big water so. second group of ducks that maybe they'll swim over landed out <laughs> yeah maybe they'll swim over <laughs> Same exact thing. All the ducks land in the middle of the pond. Every time. Well, time to be quiet and see if they swim this way again. Yeah, don't stand up. I won't stand up and talk this time, I promise. <laughs> We're calling it, that's it. It's 11.30, uh, we waited for them to come to water and, and some did and, and a lot didn't, you know. So, that's how it goes. Sunny yesterday, cloudy today. They're probably gonna feed literally all day. That's what happens when it gets over class. Oh, blah, blah, blah. 
overcasting cold out. But we ended the day, uh, I think we're just shy of 20. But the special thing, oh yeah, we got some snows down today, boys. We got some snows down today. Yeah, it was a good one. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. The silencer is sweet, dude. Hey, yeah, let's, let's do it again. Oh, dude. Let's do it, use it uh, tomorrow. Is that yeah, I think I might use it on tomorrow's hunt. Again, nice. you guys got to drop a comment. Let me know if you want me to use it. I'm sure you do. Uh, we can even we can even pattern it, you know, probably after the hunt to see how it patterns. If it shoots high, you thought it might shoot high, we could do a good pattern at the end of it. So let me know if you want to see it. What'd you think? Awesome. A lot of geese. Oh yeah. A lot of geese. A lot of geese. Not many ducks yet. Seen a handful. Yeah, we did. We haven't, this is actually the most ducks we've seen today. We've probably seen probably 50 total and we haven't seen one for about two weeks. So I was told yesterday that uh, central Nebraska loaded up with ducks like two days ago and you guys are supposed to be freezing up there and get a lot of snow. So hopefully, crossing my fingers here, uh, hopefully we get some ducks uh, showing up here in abundance. But today this was all capped over, we brought the generator, the ice eater, the ice eater's still out here. And um, we moved the decoys about three times. This morning we had them pretty close and tight, but as the morning progressed, as you can tell, we moved them way out there. This is the first time actually using all of the new floaters and they are beautiful out there. I love them. Especially the snow goose floaters. I've always wanted them. And now I'm just gonna start stocking up on them all. I, I want like, I'm not trying to be funny, but I'd like to have like 40 dozen floaters or, or something crazy. So, gonna get to picking up here, put down the camera. We'll see you back at the house. Finally get to get out of these waders. My feet have been froze all morning long, but that was fun. That was fun. We didn't, didn't kill, you know, as many as we wanted our first time hunting this, but it was sure a treat being able to hunt it. I mean, guarantee you, there's not a lot of people that get to hunt this pond, you know, and uh, a lot of people see it from the road. So very, very privileged to uh, to have the opportunity to hunt it. Uh, big shout out to Gerald for getting a hold of this pond. Uh, I call it mine because it's ours, but big shout out to Gerald for getting it and working his magic. And just like any other field or pond we hunt, when we're guiding, we're paying. We're paying the farmer good money. So it helps the farmer out and they enjoy it. Well, back home, unloading the gun out of the truck because I got to take it in to the lodge and get her all spit shined up. This morning when it got that cold, whenever she's a little dirty, the action, uh, basically I know when to clean it, when the action starts slowing down. You know, when you go to close the action, it's like, and it's not like, so we're back. We're all here. Well, at least the clients are here. The boys are out getting food and check it out. It is snowing. Not real, not real badly, but uh, they said we're supposed to get a good accumulation tonight. I mean, if it's gonna snow, I hope we get like two inches, you know? If it's gonna do it, put it on the ground. But tonight, stay tuned on a video to come. Oh yeah, we're doing a huge shrimp, uh, crab, taters, mushrooms what else corn a big old boil let's go in here and see what the guys are doing oh it's nice and warm in here first day it's a good one i mean it was you know we killed what 20 almost 20 yeah almost 20. that's, that's more geese than i've ever seen oh is it yeah oh yeah so I've you're from seen. vegas they haven't yep. got to give them your name where are you from uh my name's jason huntsman this is my father dick how are um, you? Good, Father, good, son, good, good. I always Both from Las Vegas, and uh, mm. it is very scarce hunting in Vegas. I can only imagine. What do you, is it just mainly duck hunting, or what do you uh, do? There is geese, but it's very, It's again, it's far away. It's a two-hour drive minimum, and it's just very, very few birds. It's pretty cool to have you all come from Vegas. Oh, That's very I remote mean, waterfowl area, I can only imagine. Yeah, we get the birds that come down through Salt Lake in that area, and once salt lake freezes up is when we start seeing birds like late january ah so, so you get a late late season yeah, like i've shot five ducks this year 
Really? In four trips. So. And it's been warm. It's still yeah. like 60, 65 60 degrees at home. 60 in the day and 40 at night, yeah. Uh-huh. That's where we were until this cold front came, so. You gonna clean yours too? Yeah, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's why I brought mine in. I'm like, it needs cleaned bad. Yeah, try and get in the habit of it. What are you rocking here? Oh yeah, SX4, I forgot. Yeah. I, uh, heard, yesterday I was like, what do you think about Benelli's? He's like, I hate Benelli's. I don't like them. You don't like them? No. Have you, and you've you've owned one. Not an automatic, but a pump. Hate it everywhere. You uh, owned a pump, not an automatic. Yes. What was it? A Nova. A Nova. And I absolutely hated every bit about it. What was wrong with it? Couldn't shoot it well. Didn't. It was just clunky and just bulky. wasn't comfortable. Mm -mm. Have you held an SB3? Yeah. I got Dude. a lot of people from home, and I still don't care for them. Really? I have all my Super X4. I'm telling you, you know what? There's a there's two types of people. There's a Winchester, Benelli, and then you have the diehards, the old Berettas, yeah. the old Brownings. But well, like I'm already done. I need to take out two pins, and I got it all apart. It's just yeah. easy. Exactly. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah. I've never shot an SX4, SX3. Never, never hunted with one. You have to try it. I know. I might have to steal it one of these hunts and go, give her a go. Go for it. A gas gun. I've never really, you know, hunted with a gas gun. So yeah, no. look at all these parts. I'm not used to having a gas gun. Yeah. All kinds of parts going on. Yeah, it just sets in there, kind of like so. And if you keep your piston rather clean, then it functions perfect every time. Really? No matter yeah. if it's cold, wet. It does not matter. Gotcha. Well, I might have to give her a go. Over 5,000 shells through this gun. Never, oh, really? Never, never flinches. 5,000 shells through that bad boy. At least trap loads, duck loads. You keep them clean. Yeah. Dude, they run. But the new lease. Like I said, big shout out to Gerald for getting it. Um, that lease, my goodness. Uh, just like I said before, very, 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 very thankful to be able to hunt that spot. So, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, like I said, we have a big... Uh, shrimp crab boil that I'm gonna film and, and throw in a video. Uh, we have, what all do I have? The silencer, the silencer, I'm doing it tomorrow. So that's on the horizon for y'all. What else do we have coming? Uh, we have a city limit goose hunt coming y'all's way that we did like three days ago. Man, there's one more. Oh, and a 410, the 410 hunt. I did a 410 goose hunt. There's like four bangers coming after this one, so. And I think tomorrow we're duck hunting, so I'll probably duck hunt with a suppressor. <laughs> but again, thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you have not, y'all. Uh, just checked again, like 51% of y'all watching right now are not subscribed. Come on, y'all. It's waterfowl season. Hit the subscribe button. As, when, when you're down there, hit the little notification bell. It just notifies you on your phone when I upload. You don't have to click it. It just says, hey, your boy uploaded. But until next time.